Hey guys, it's Sailor. Just wanted to uh, give you a little update here. Um, haven't done a video tour of this bike. I think you probably all know the basics, but um, anyways, this is a Kawasaki Ninja 650. The motor stock, throttle bodies, fuel injection, well, most of the fuel injection is stock. Um, in order to run this uh, KTM shock, which is much, much taller than the uh, the Kawasaki shock. The Kawasaki shock um, bolts right here. Um, I had to cut the tank and cutting the tank was right where the fuel pump was which necessitated making this uh, sub tank which is just welded aluminum and I lined it and the fuel pump has been relocated down here and I'm gonna have to work on making a guard for that so the chain doesn't hit the the uh, the control there but uh, anyways did some major wire relocating um, the relay box I relocated here um, I know the wiring looks like a mess that's because I stripped it all down and I'm zip tying it in the general location of where I want it and then I'm gonna sheath it all um, I don't know sometime sometime soon uh, put some crash bars on uh, the linkage isn't hooked up. I don't have uh, the cables for Motion Pro, so none of that stuff works. Um, the uh, kickstand I built, swing arms off a of KTM, wheels are off a of KTM. Uh, 320 front rotor with a, a big braking caliper. Um, MIG racing triples. Um, I haven't welded the damper post on that I made. Thought that came out pretty nice, pretty light too. Um, that'll get welded on for the damper. Running the stock gauges. Highway dirt bikes, uh, blinker, handguard, top plate combo. Um, did some modifications to the subframe. A couple of these tubes are new, and the main tank's obviously not on it. But, oh, and uh, I shortened this aero exhaust, which uh, you're going to hear in a minute, because uh, I got the bike running. Nothing uh, beats the first time you fired up. So I, this isn't the first time I fired it up. I fired it up three minutes ago inside and then I quickly wheeled it outside. But it literally, I turned it, I put fuel in it in this, just in the sub tank, which is all, this is just gravity feed to the sub tank. Uh, put fuel in it and I gave it one or two bumps on the starter and it just fired right to life. It's, it's pretty loud. Um, the exhaust has been shortened. Um, one of the things that I, I haven't tuned it yet, the throttle position sensor is loose because I just reinstalled that, so I'm sure that's affecting it. The uh, intake air temperature sensor on the air box is not hooked up, so I'm sure it'll run better as, uh, as I go along. But anyways, enough, enough talk, more rock. Power on, gauges come on. The fuel injection light's on, I'm not sure why. I'll have to diagnose that, but it doesn't seem to be a major issue. Um, my kill switch. it is. It's not that loud, but um, it's definitely got some bark to it. it. Blows a good bit of air out of there, I can tell you that. Sweeping the ground with it. should be fun. Um, still getting a tiny bit of weeping of oil out of this front crank case uh, repair that I did. So hopefully that's okay. And I suspect the hesitation we're getting is, is probably from the sensors that I don't have hooked up yet. Idles right down nicely, doesn't it? If my fuel lights on. I only put a half a gallon in there. I didn't want to, in case it was leaking, I didn't want it to dump fuel everywhere. Well, it's pretty exciting. No leaks, always a plus.